Hi guys, happy Halloween. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited to be here today with you guys for a Dollar Tree haul. I am going to be honest, it's actually Friday and I'm pre-recording this because I have a crazy weekend ahead of me. Um, if you've listened or, you know, heard me talk before, I'm doing a trunk or tree on Saturday night and then Sunday is actually Halloween. We still have to carve pumpkins and we still have to make those, not the gingerbread Halloween houses. I think they're like chocolate cookies, but we still have to decorate those. Um, we have some Halloween cupcakes to make and so we just have a very full weekend and so right now the kids are at school celebrating Halloween at school and so I thought I would jump on real fast and get this haul ready for you guys because I have the stuff. Um, so I want to thank you all so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, comment down below. I do have a giveaway going on. Today is Sunday when you're seeing this so tomorrow on Monday I will be picking a winner for that giveaway. So head back a couple hauls back, find the one that the title says, 700 subscriber giveaway, watch that one, read the rules in the description box, and if you're eligible, enter to win that giveaway with me. Um, so today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Oh, and on, as far as giveaway goes, it is the last day of October. Jay from Frugal Jay has uh, a giveaway going on on her channel as well. So I have that also linked down below in my description box. It is for Breast Cancer Awareness Month and she's giving away amazing prizes. So check out her channel in my description box if you haven't already to be entered to win her giveaway. Um, I believe today's the last day since it's the last day of October. So head over to her channel right away and check that out. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul and it is a ton of Christmas stuff because Christmas is around the corner and I'm so excited and it still cracks me up that retail says you're in a Halloween costume but you're showing Christmas stuff. But, you know, we just roll with it, and that's just how life is. I have some other day-to-day -day stuff. If you hear my dogs, they're in the front row or in the back living room, like, wrestling right now. Because when the camera turns on, that's the time for them to play. So, let me get started in this haul, because I have a busy day ahead of me, and I want to show you all my goodies. So, first of all, these were new to me. Oh, there's stuff in them. That's a, also a surprise to me. So, these big totes, I need to do some organizing. And so I needed these big totes. That's where that went. I lost that, and these totes have been sitting over here. Um, so they're like nice and big. They're bigger than the shoebox size totes, I think. At least taller. Maybe the same width, width, length, but a little bit taller. They have kind of the this de design on the top. I got this for the boys' rooms because they are just the blue lid ones and I thought that these would be good for the boys rooms to do a little bit of organizing and that is on my to-do list to organize their rooms. So if you've been following my channel you know I'm having a fondue party on November 6th and so today is Sunday we get to finish out Halloween with Halloween decor and on Monday the first it's all coming down and I'm decorating for fall so that it's all ready for my fondue party next Saturday. So. Um, after that, I will be doing deep organizations of the kids' rooms before Christmas, so that that way we can... Sorry. So I dropped that, and here's the lids. So, um, I want to organize their rooms before Christmas, before they get new stuff coming in, and they just have too much stuff. To go along with that, I got these nice big baskets. These might also be in their bathroom for under the sink to help organize all like that stuff. And I got one, two, three, four, five of these. They are just like those nice big ones, but they usually come in white. I see them in white a lot, and I liked that they were gray. So I picked them up because it's good for the boys' rooms and the bathroom upstairs. So I picked that up. Um, on November 20th, my husband is throwing me a surprise birthday party. And this is a gigantic flamingo cutout. So there's a little picture of it right there. I don't know how tall he is, but just his body without his legs are this tall and then his legs add on almost the same amount probably from here to here so it's like double this plus the head so super cute for the decor for my surprise birthday party that I know nothing about and I love it that we can get decorations for it at the Dollar Tree that makes me very excited now those bins have been over there because they haven't been exciting finds and I haven't hauled them and I for the life of me, couldn't figure out what I did with this char, so I'm so glad that I decided to haul those today because this is some of my fall decor. I got the, it's kind of like an orangey amber color jar that's shaped like a pumpkin and it's got the rose gold lid on it. 
It is actually called just a jar, but it, I feel like it was called a pumpkin jar at some point. It just looks like a pumpkin. And they had them in clear at one point. I don't know if they still have these in stores because I bought this a while ago and um, I lost it, but I found it again. So really excited to have this for fall decor. I found some gold toe socks again, and every time I find them, I get really excited. I picked these up. I showed my husband because he really is like into the American flag and stuff, but he said, no, I'm not going to wear socks that look like that. So I thought that these would just be good under boots for me, and so that's what I'll wear them for. They are, I think, men's size 6 to 12 and a half, but when you put them under boots, it's nice to have like cozy socks. They have started covering up the actual price, which I think is silly because it's really cool to see like how much money you're saving. So I don't know what the actual price of these were, but um, I think that they're cute. And then these ones, these ones, they were $8. They didn't cover up, cover up the actual price. They have flamingos wearing Santa hats, like flamingos wearing Santa hats. So I most definitely picked those up for me. Regular price was $8 but I got them for $1 at the Dollar Tree, and I love them. They're like a navy blue, and they're flamingos wearing Santa hats. So, awesome, awesome find. I picked up this bath bomb. I've seen other people haul it, and I was hoping to run into it, and it's the Gigantic Flamingo Bath Bomb, and it's cucumber melon scented. This is like a huge bath bomb. Like I feel like this is like multiple baths. But it says just to add it to warm water. Like this thing is huge. Yeah. Or it has that like fresh scent to it. So super cute. I picked up another one of these when I came across it. I was really glad to find another one. I'm doing gift bags for the teenage girls. I actually have one other teenage girl that I forgot about. So I need to find her a makeup bag. Um, hopefully another flower one. But I'll find something. And so I'm going to fill it up with, you know, age appropriate makeup and that kind of stuff. So I was glad to find another one of these to toss into those Christmas gifts. And then I found some more flower makeup. So I grabbed four of them because one, I can either give them away or if I love them, I like to know that I have them. So these are the eye to eye, eye marker and volumizing mascara. So what it talks about is the ultimate dynamic duo for eyes featuring a smudge proof eye marker and volumizing mascara. Our eye to eye duo is an easy fun way to create a truly battable lashes and dramatic liner looks all in one. Perfect to throw and go. It fits easily in a purse, cosmetic bag, or pocket. You never test on animals. It is flower. So let me open one because I'm really curious. Like I said, I picked up four. I'm curious about the liner. So the color is intense black. I wear very black typically on my eyes. I mean, it's kind of a gray and it's very thick because it's a marker. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about the liner. I mean, it goes on really thin. So it kind of comes out with like a, like a grayish brown kind of look. Um, the mascara. So this is all the mascara you get because it's in that. And then here's the brush. If you like to, you know, know what the style of brushes. So I guess this would be good for traveling because you're not probably going to get a ton of use out of it. Good thing it's only a dollar since that's like literally all the mascara that's in there. So it's the marker is 0 0.07 ounces. The mascara is 0 0.09 ounces. You're not getting much in this. It just smells like mascara, so it doesn't like stink. So you're not getting a lot. This is literally like good for traveling, probably. And like I said, that eyeliner comes on thick. So if you like like thick liner, I guess, maybe thick light liner. I don't know. Maybe that's what's for you. All right, guys. I also picked up these to put in some of the um, boys toolbox gifts. So they're not the bath bombs, but it's the bath powder. So it is race team car dust. Bubbles, fizzes, and crackles, scented bath bomb crumble. Um, I don't know if it tells me the scent. Am I missing it? Just car dust? Scented? Parents, sprinkle two tablespoons 
of bath crumbles under warm water and watch as the tub fills watch for the color the water color color and bubble and then you rinse after washing I don't know what the scent is it doesn't tell me it's Hot Wheels scented I don't know but I thought that that would be cute for the boys in the toolboxes uh, speaking of I didn't have enough the last time I showed them so I bought four more I think I have plenty now for the boys and so what I'm going to do I got the caboodles for the girls and my sister Ken is looking for them I know you are still but I have not seen the caboodles in a while now but all right here we go so I'm going to do the boys names like right here on the top in this spot with my Cricut and then um, put fun stuff in there. I mean, I can also, oh, maybe take the label off and do it right here too. And just do like their name. And then it's literally just a box. There's nothing in it, nothing, no compartments. And so I could just fill them up with fun stuff. So that's what I'm doing for the boys, filling those up. I got like the bubble pops and fidgety things and bath dust. And so just whatever I find for boys are going in there. Probably some Hot Wheels because who doesn't love Hot Wheels? I picked up this scrunchie. This like reminds me of my day of scrunchies. Like this is just like the type of scrunchie that I always had. So it's got kind of like that green color, pretty fall like. And so I grabbed that because I love a good scrunchie. Daisy, my little baby niece, is also getting a caboodle with little baby goodies in it. And I picked up these socks because they're so cute with the little fruits on them. And so that's gonna go in her Christmas gift. I like to pick up anytime I see different socks that I haven't given her already or hair ties or anything like that. So I already hauled these and I thought I, well, I hauled different ones, at least one of them because I didn't haul this blue one. And I couldn't find my other ones. That's because I didn't haul them yet. They were over here in a bag. I thought I hauled them. And it's because I picked up four different times and I got confused. So I picked those up. They're going to go in friend mail. I owe a couple um, happy mails to some people that I haven't sent out yet. So if you're on that list, you'll get it eventually. I finally decided to pick up one of these tree skirts I saw on Instagram. Such a cute way to do this. Um, I put it in my stories. It's been a while though, but it was basically like cotton fluff or something like in here. And they did the bottle brush trees coming out of it. And it was so cute, like so cute with like the little bottle brush trees. And I might do that. So I'm changing this front room here. I um, am doing a whole new Christmas theme that I need to buy stuff for. And I'm doing it in black and white with the cozy cabin vibe to it. And maybe with like the white bottle, bottle brush trees coming out of this would be so cute. So I might do that in this room. If not, I'll find another spot for it. But this one is the farm fresh trees. And now I kind of wish I got the red one because the red one would probably work for my all occasion tree, which is gingerbread. But I also do a gingerbread scarf around it, so not a big deal. So that's what I'm going to do with that, I think, because I finally decided to pick one up. I thought it was so cute on Instagram. Um, I picked up this. It says Gnome for the Holidays. This has been out for a while. I know we've all seen the gnome stuff. I don't do a lot of gnomes, but I might use this to craft with and make a different sign on it. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to see if I could pop the gnome off. And keep them all as one and then use the sign to do a DIY but I'm not for sure yet we'll see it's really cute as is but I picked up a couple books just because I liked them when I saw them so this is a Finding Dory joke book and the unforgettable joke book Finding Dory let's see what did the fish say after trying the delicious bait I'm hooked doot 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 um, what is the best way to communicate with a fish? Drop it a line. <laughs> so my kids love little jokes like these. And so I thought that they would love this. What did the sea cucumber say in the touch pool? I'm in quite a pickle. So yeah, I, the kids would love that. And then Eric loves sharks and all fact, facts and everything that go with sharks. So I figured why not, right? And it was a dollar. So, back to Christmas. I picked up these letters, and I initially picked up the three, and then I realized when I looked online, they had all of our initials except for one. So, what I did is then I went back and I picked up another B. So, this I'm going to try to turn into an E by cutting it in some sort of way and see if I can make the B look like an E. And I'll do that before I, like, 
get full fledged into this. So then I got an L for Lorelai, A for Amber, of course, C for Cameron, and B for Braxton. But one of these Bs I'm going to try to turn into an E. We're going to see if I can do that by cutting it. I mean, it's obviously really flimsy, kind of like cardboardy in there. So I potentially can turn that into an E, hopefully. And then we all have an initial or something. I was thinking stockings, but we'll see kind of where that ends up. And if I do anything or put them on gifts, like, like they're a nice big gift. And then I grabbed these cute little trees, the little bottle brush. Oh, so if I do like some big ones and then mix in some little ones and do like a little forest in there. Yep, and I don't take credit. I saw that on Instagram. It was someone else's idea, but I love it. And so these just have like the little tiny wood bottoms. You get six of them in here. So I picked up the silver and the gold. And so those are really cute. I'm going to put them in my forest. And then I grabbed these LED lights. So when I bought the Halloween ones, I said that they were battery operated. They're not. Those were plug-in, which has been perfect for my coffee bar. But these ones are battery, and they are just like that colorful strand of lights. And I am thinking for my Christmas coffee bar, possibly. And if not for my coffee bar, I mean, I, I like lights. So I'll find a spot for them for Christmas because they have all like the different colors on them. So there's 10 lights. Requires two AA batteries. The total length is 3.66 feet. Um, lit length is three feet, and it's multicolor LEDs. So, yep, use those for Christmas. I did decide to pick up some trees. I never picked up the uh, Halloween one, and then as soon as I decided I wanted it, I had remorse over it. And so I decided to pick up some of these. I have four. Um, I possibly am going to be in a collab about decorating little trees, doing like little tree decorations. So I did buy some for that and then also to have some on hand for crafting and DIYs. So um, yeah, because like there's so many cute ideas with these little trees, like so many good ideas. Do you watch the Daily DIYer? I love her. She has so many cute Christmas things. Chic on the Cheap, Sarah Jane is one of my absolute favorite crafters, and they all just are all putting out so many cute Christmas ones. Bargain Bethany is another one I watch. Whiskey and Wit, I'm new to her channel, and I love all her ideas. And um, let's see, it's Creative on the Cheap, I think is another one. I talked about her in my last haul. I think my last haul or the haul before. I talked about her recently. I've been watching so many DIY channels, and so like I'll try to link them all below if you're into DIY channels because those are some of the ones that I love and they are just giving so many ideas and I'm trying to go buy the things because I want to do homemade decor in my my room up here so all right lastly I know we've all seen these and if you're new to the game these are awesome but I'll just show you the ones that I picked up these are the double-sided boards so this one says tis the season to be jolly and it's got the gnomes on each of the sides the other side is Santa and a penguin, says ho, ho, ho. I don't know where this one will necessarily go. I do have three children, though, so it could maybe go in one of their rooms because they like to decorate for Christmas. This is the one that I absolutely love, and it says Baking Spirits Bright, and it will be perfect in the kitchen. And this one says Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. And what I think I'll do with it is put it on my table where we eat because it's double-sided, and so like both sides will show on there and I think it's adorable. So guys, that is my haul today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you all have an amazing Halloween. If I haven't already posted, I will be posting my trunk or treats for you guys because today is Sunday, it's Halloween. Last night then was the trunk or treat and I'm gonna record our two trunks. I'm really excited for the Harry Potter trunk. I have a lot of good ideas. But hopefully you've either seen it or you will be seeing it very shortly after this one posts. So it depends on how quickly I can edit them and get them up and going after the Trunk or Treat on Saturday. Like I said, it's currently Friday, but you know, you know YouTube timing is sometimes a little off. So keep an eye out for that if it's not already posted. If it is already posted, go back and watch it. So my Trunk or Treat will be posted for you guys. And I might just do a little vlog too of our Halloween of all of our things we're doing. I've kind of recorded or at least taken pictures here and there of some of the stuff we've done. So I might do a little Halloween vlog for, 
for the family. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Please join my YouTube family. I'm working on watching it grow, and I appreciate all of you that have already subscribed. Go watch the video to be able to be entered into one, my 700 subscriber giveaway, which will be picked tomorrow on Monday the 1st, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!